I'm talking now to David Anderson. He is Sales and Marketing Director of SCORE Diagnostics. Hi Dave. Hi. Um, what kind of technology do you have here? Can you explain me a little bit about it? Yes, what we have here is a valve leak detection and quantification device. So problem valves on plants cause issues of uh, safety related or environmental rated, related or efficiency losses. So it's important to know which valves are performing and which valves are not performing. So we need to get involved in condition monitoring activities. The way we do this with this handheld device is we are using acoustic emissions technology using this sensor on the front of our handset here to listen to the sound footprint created by turbulent flow coming through a leak path inside a valve. So the way the sensor measures that turbulent flow sound is reported in decibel reading on the LCD screen on the back here. And when we approach a, a leak, that decibel sound will increase. The peak signal will be at the leak path and as we move away from the leak, the signal will decay again. So if you look at that in graphical terms, what we're seeing here is an increasing signal with a peak signal on the valve body and a decreasing signal on the downstream side. When we see that footprint there, this device is able to conclusively and reliably and consistently tell you where your problem valve is and there's no more confusion about which valve is leaking and which valve is not. So that's, that's leak detection. What we then do is we want to understand in the leaking valves that we find how bad the leak has become at any one point. And if we look at our performance curve for valves here, what we can see is that every valve will follow the same exponential decay curve. So it should be working when it's installed, but the longer that you go on in the process and the more times you operate the valve, the more likely it is to start failing in service. Eventually that failure rate becomes exponential in its growth and we're exposed to risk of failure in service. That failure in service might end up as a safety incident or accident or some environmental escape or just process efficiency losses, you're losing profit. And uh, who are your clients? Our clients, uh, we were operating in oil and gas organisations. Our roots came from oil and gas valve repair and refurbishment. That's what caused us to manufacture this process yeah. uh, um, equipment in the first place. But we're also now in nuclear industry. We're in the marine and military. Mm -hmm. uh, all the utility companies, all the energy producers. So we've got a very broad spectrum of customers. And we've got a global coverage not just in our home market of the North Sea, but everywhere from America, right through all the, the continents, all the way across to our furthest east would be in uh, Gladstone in Australia, which is right on the coast at Curtis Island. It's a new LNG plant they're building there, so we've got coverage right across the world. Today is the second day of this trade fair. How important is this fair for you and have you seen already new clients? Absolutely. We've been coming to this show since the very first year it started. So we've been at every one and we see an increasing audience every time. The conference makes sure that we bring the quality operator personnel and the high level decision makers in. So this is probably one of the best shows that we attend anywhere in the world. And I always champion that our company needs to be at this show with our latest technology because we have access to the decision makers and it's very important for us. Yesterday was very busy. When we were here two years ago, we had our best ever response because we just released this product, we just launched it. And that's why we're back here with um, advanced products even beyond this, our Midas sensor, our new VMAP system. So it's important to show the market that we're continuing to move forward and innovate. And this is exactly the audience that we need to be speaking to. Thank you very much. Thank you.